Snivelling Remainers have been warned their deference to Brussels on the key subject of financial services is jeopardising the future prosperity of the UK, and Brexiteer Jane Ardia has said the ongoing attempts by the EU to bully Britain on the issue stemmed from a crucial failure in the original Brexit negotiations which she stressed had to be rectified in order for the country to move forward. Get Britain Out Director Mazadia said the UK-EU Trade and Cooperation Agreement passed into law this week by the European Parliament, was riddled with faults, however, of these, the failure of the agreement to include any settlement over the future of the financial services sector was the most glaring, exacerbated as it had been by a lack of publicity. She explained, this lack of interest from the majority in the media, the remain biased, snivelling, civil service, as well as in government, is largely why the EU has evidently bet on in its attempts to undermine the economic potential of the United Kingdom outside the European Union. Just a few weeks ago, after years of negotiations, it was announced the United Kingdom had come to a Memorandum of Understanding on financial services access to both the UK and the EU market. However, while this may sound significant, in reality all this memorandum does is show both sides, have agreed to talk about the issue further, in a set format, it brings zero change to the challenges faced by the UK's financial services sector. Muzadia added, we have let the EU get away with a trade deal in goods which overwhelmingly benefits EU member states, while securing nothing for the financial services industry. This was a crucial failure in the negotiations, rooted in the mistakes made by the former Rima and Prime Minister, Theresa May. As a country we should never have talked about any trade deal in goods in the first place unless the EU first agreed to grant permanent access to EU markets for the UK's successful financial services sector.